Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to my next review. It's going to be for the Master Grade Blitz Gundam. Uh, this is the, to date, the most currently released uh, Master Grade by Bandai. And uh, overall, uh, I like the kit. Um, if you watched the unboxing video I had for it, you know I said I had some uh, reservations uh, about the kit, and th they're still there, actually. Um, if you're a fan of Seed, I definitely recommend the kit. It's a good kit. Uh, it's reflecting a lot of new uh, uh, things that they're doing. The The inner frame is, is fantastic. Uh, a lot of the parts are actually shared from the Dual Gundam. So um, keep that in mind. Actually, a lot of the inner frame parts are labeled um, the X-Series frame. So uh, we'll probably see those same parts in the uh, Buster, and I'm actually not sure about the Aegis, because that's a whole different beast altogether, but uh, anyways, here's what the kit's going to look like, uh, snapped together out of the box. There's no stickers or anything that I have applied to this kit. Um, I lately have been trying to paint stuff, so I don't really want to put any stickers on it, just to take them off later. Um, so the kit, uh, obviously you can see, is molded uh, mostly in black. And then uh, to kind of contrast, it's got a purple, a red, a few yellow parts, and uh, some gray parts popping through. Uh, I'm not a fan of the purple. I just got to gotta kind of throw that out there. Um, it's not the right color. I think if the purple was a gray color, it would look a lot better. But uh, overall, um, engineering-wise, the kit's pretty good. There's a few complaints I have. Um, actually, I'll show you one of them here right now. And it's actually up here on this shoulder piece. Now, I have this kit posed just like this. Now, as I lift the arm up, okay, everything's fine, right? Lift it up a little bit higher, everything's good. And then if I twist it, see in the back here? It's pulling uh, this piece of uh, armor right there on the back of the shoulder out. And I actually did that in a way that made it fall off. Um, it's that's actually kind of disappointing. I, I think that's like a that's just not a, like a very good engineering thing from from my perspective. The engineering was kind of lacking in that. That shouldn't do that. Um, but anyways, that's what it does. Uh, so overall, there's a, there's a few gimmicks on this kit uh, that I wasn't actually expecting. Um, the main one I'll show you here, uh, oh, articulation by the way, um, you guys probably don't need to see that. I mean, if if anyone is missing that or wanting to see that, uh, post it in one of the comments and I'll be happy to do that. But, I mean, it's, it's kind of getting redundant at this point just to kind of go over, you know, showing you how far their arm moves out, um, I think. Uh, if you guys want to see it, let me know. But um, I'm going to skip that on this one. So one of the things uh, that was kind of interesting is the shoulder up here. Now, what you can do uh, on both pieces of the shoulder here is grab this and pull it out. And then you can flip. Let me get something to flip it open with. I'll use this hand. You can flip that open on both of them. And now you can kind of see some of the inner detail. Uh, kind of like the inner mechanical frame of the kit, which is is pretty cool. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot of master grades that do that. I mean, I know you can pull armor pieces off, but um, that's the first time that I've noticed that. Uh, it might be out there before, but I haven't seen it. Uh, so you can do that for both sides. Uh, it does have an opening cockpit, which is pretty uh, straightforward. It's uh, on a two joints, where basically... Uh, this one moves just a little bit as a flap, and then that piece hinges down. And way, way up in there sits Nicole. Um, also, I don't really know what the point is of it, but down here on the feet, on this piece here, these guys can come out, and they can go all the way down to right there. So it's uh, too far, actually. Right there would be about where he's standing. Now, um, I don't know if that's just kind of like an action shot or something. I noticed in the box art they don't show these things sticking out. So uh, it's something that I wasn't expecting, but it can do. Um, the back here, uh, these pieces are kind of interesting. This one, you got a little bit of movement. These ones, you have 
very little bit of movement. I mean, just just a little bit, not not a whole lot. And it kind of makes me wonder, I guess, why they even made these poseable. Just because I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't seem like a, a whole lot of range of movement. I mean, I don't. I guess I can't really foresee why anybody would want these looking that way instead of that way instead of just straight. But um, the the best thing about this kit to me anyways, uh, the thing that just kind of impressed me more than anything else is the skirt armor on this kit. And I will very carefully try to remove his rear skirt armor. That always scares me. It scares you guys too, doesn't it? I really don't want to break this. Let's hope this other side comes out. Okay. And, well, that almost worked. Alright. I wanted to show this. That is a heck of a lot of detail for some skirt armor. Um, I've got a lot of kits sitting here that... Now I just got to remember how that went on. It went on like that. Okay. I have got a lot of kits sitting here where the uh, rear parts of the skirt armor are just a dull blank uh, plate uh, piece of plastic. And that has a ton of detail in it. I just, I thought that was really cool. I wasn't expecting that. And uh, the same with the, the uh, other armor here pieces, the other skirt armor pieces. They've got a lot of detail in them. I really, I really like that. Now, now, me saying that my favorite part about this kit is the detail inside the skirt armor might give you an indication about how I feel of the rest of the kit. That's not really secure. It's probably going to fall off. But um, Overall, I mean, compared to the, the, uh, the duel, it's a, it's a little disappointing. Um, we'll go with this guy here. Uh, this is his rocket grappling hook thing that you see in the series. And it looks cool. It does have some moving parts. We can fold these guys out like so. The, these pieces each can come out like so. And then it uh, gets pegged in right there. And then we've got this yellow wire here which can peg in to here and here. And then you can have it shooting out uh, like we all know it can do. Now, the sad part about this is that this is so heavy that you're going to get it posed looking all cool, and as soon as you get it where you want it and you let go, it's going to droop down just a little bit. And I guarantee you by the next morning, it's going to be drooping way down here. Uh, this wire for the weight of this is too skinny. So uh, you could correct that, I guess, if you wanted to get creative and put your own in there. Uh, that might be a little bit thicker. Uh, or you might just uh, take a small uh, brass tube and carefully bend it and paint it how you want, and then you won't have that issue. That was a little disappointing. The other disappointment, actually, uh, that I have is the other weapon with the kit. The uh, Tricaros, I think it's called. The Tricaros weapon leaves something to be desired. And I think it's just kind of why I don't like, I guess why out of all the five uh, GAT series kits, the Duel was my least favorite. But I wanted to give this kit a try because uh, the other one was really good. This is the, I'll just take this off. This is the uh, handle for it. I guess we can leave it on. It doesn't really matter. Some big open holes back here. Kind of disappointing. But anyways... These guys don't impress me. Um, it looks good and everything, but this these two pieces will stay in pretty well. They can snug and fit pretty tight. This top one has a tendency to not stick very well and will then fall out. These are uh, these are molded nicely. Uh, it's molded all in one piece, and then there's just uh, three uh, places where it's attached to the sprue. So uh, they do come out looking pretty clean when they're done, especially if you get them painted and detailed. They will look really nice. Uh, they just this top one has a hard time staying in there. Now you also have the built-in beam rifle for the shield, which sits right in there at the top. 
Uh, again, not the most impressive looking gun, but I think that's what you get when you try to combine three things into a shield. Uh, the third being this beam saber back here, which is a little bit chunkier than other ones, and you can actually remove it if you want to. It'll come out, and you can have him hold it. The kit does come with two clear red beams, although he can only use one. So you get to add one to the pile. And if you want to have him hold it that way, you can. If you want to have it um, displayed in here, you can certainly do that too. If you want, it's just, this is, I guess, it's it's not really the kit's fault, it's just the design of the kit, uh, of the of the machine itself. This just seems too busy to me. It's got too much going on. I don't know. What do you guys think? Post it in the comments. I'm not a fan of the Tricaros, but uh, you might be. So, there that is. Um, the other disappointment that I have with this is it can peg on which uh, this is taken from the uh, shield of the um, all the strike style kits uh, just this gray piece in here uh, and it pegs onto the forearm over here they've made the hand too big uh, for this handle piece here so you can peg it on like so and his thumb got twisted in there but if you can see, he's not even holding it. He's just kind of sitting in there, kind of making it look like he's supposed to be. Um, so overall, I know this video is already kind of getting kind of long. Uh, it's a it's a good kit. I mean, the the engineering behind the kit is good, although I don't really like the design, I guess. But I wanted to give it a shot just because I like these kits. I am going to get all five uh, uh, of the Seed Master Grades so I can at least have one little complete collection um, so, final thoughts, if you guys are wanting one of the newer style uh, seed kits to buy, buy the Duel. Uh, the Duel is so much better. Um, not to say this kit isn't bad, but um, how to describe it. The best way I can describe it is, I like, the, I like certain model kits so much that I would never be tempted to do a custom color scheme. I like it the way it is, I want to see it like that on my shelf. This kit, I wouldn't care at all. I, I am going to do some custom color scheme. I'll probably keep the black and the red, and I'm going to do something with the purple, and I might make the gray that's on it a different color. Uh, it's not going to hurt my feelings one bit, um, in my opinion, but you guys might think something else. But uh, overall, the engineering of the kit is great. The, I don't know, the design otherwise, I'm not such a huge fan of. But I'm glad I bought it. Um, it's not a disappointing buy. Uh, I would recommend, if you don't have this yet, I bought it from Hobby Link Japan for a good price, but as most of you know, the shipping's a little outrageous. So I would actually, if I were you, I would wait for this kit um, to, to come in so you can get it on a little cheaper shipping. Um, because I think with shipping on this kit, I paid about $70. And... I would feel a little better if I paid less for it. Uh, anyways, so that's it. That's the uh, the review for the kit. Uh, I hope you guys appreciate it. If there's anything uh, that I didn't answer that you'd like to know, uh, post a comment and I'll get back to you. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you next time.